In this video, I am going to show you a scenario where you want to use your layer 2 and layer 3 troubleshooting skill to identify a compromised device in your network. So, in this scenario, your cybersecurity team is reaching out to you saying they found a device with IP address 10.10.10.182 that has been compromised. So your task in this scenario is to identify that device with that IP address and disconnect it from the network. So in this scenario, you are given a layer three information that is an IP address, and then you need to use that layer three information to find the MAC address or where it is connected on the VLAN on the switch that is the layer 2 and disconnect it from your network because with this IP you can ping this IP and you don't know where this is located so you need to use your layer 2 skills to locate this device to a particular port in your network so that is what the task of this exercise. So I'm going to use a real Cisco lab to demonstrate this for you. This is the demo network we are going to use. In this network, you have two switches and four PCs and one router. But when you have a real large network, like in a campus, you will have hundreds of switches and a few pairs of routers, and you will have bunch of VLAN span across multiple switches. Therefore, you need to find a systematic approach to find a device with a particular IP in a large network. So right now we have the IP address of 10.10.10.182. That is the layer three information. So when you have a layer three information in a campus network, you need to go to your layer three router. In this network, we have only two layers, layer three functioning on the router and switches are functioning as the layer two. In a real campus network, you have a intermediate layer that is the aggregation layer, but we do not have that aggregation layer here. We have only two layers. So let's look into router R1 and find out what is the subnet belongs to this IP address of 10, 10, 10, 1, 8, 2. And then we find out what is the VLAN interface that is called SVI, switched virtual interface, associated to that subnet. To find out that information, issue a command called show IP interface brief. Here you can find 10, 10, 10, 1. This is the network we are looking for is associated to this sub interface. This is a slash 24 network that has 255 IPs and the subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.0. So we found the right network. And the next task is find the MAC address of that device. To do that, you need to look at the ARP table. Show IP ARP. And right now you have information about the subnet only there is no information about that particular ip address so to bring in that information to the app table what you need to do is you need to initiate a ping for that device ping 10 10 10 182 .182 you will lose the first ping because this is the first ping. That is where you get the ARP information. And now issue the command show IP ARP. Now you see you get that particular information you are looking for. You also need another piece of information to locate this device is what is the VLAN associated to that device? To find out, you issue the command because you already know what is the interface associated to this device and issue a command 
to run int ethernet zero slash zero dot one three four. It says it is encapsulating dot one q four tag sixty two. That means the VLAN tag is sixty two. Now you know the VLAN associated to this device. So now we have to look into the switches. Right now we have two switches and let's look for that MAC address from these two switches. So let's look into switch two and to find out the MAC address because we know the MAC address that is, this is the MAC address. You can type in the entire MAC address or you can type in the last four digit of the MAC address. So I'm going to go to switch one first and to look for a particular MAC address, show MAC address table, include, and our MAC address is ending 3C00, 3C00. So that particular MAC address is associated to port ETH02. So let's also look at switch two because we found that MAC address in the first shot. I want to show you the same MAC output on another switch. You are not going to find any information. So let's look at to MAC address table include 3C00. 3C00 and you are going to see no information about this MAC address because this MAC address is residing in switch 1 and port ETH02. So we found out where this device is connected to. Now we go to that port and we shut down that port. So go to conf t int ETH02 shut. So now we go to our router and we were able to ping that IP before. Let's ping it again. So you see it is not able to ping now. That means we successfully disconnected that compromised PC from the network. So this is how you need to use your layer 2 and layer 3 skills to locate a particular device in a network. I hope this video is helpful for you to do similar kind of layer 2, layer 3 troubleshooting. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to the channel and turn on the notification for future video updates.